in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. For our good night message on this Wednesday, the 9th of August 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian Community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging message in line with the gospel passage of today entitled Lessons from the Canaanite Woman. Today we read from Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28. It was about the Canaanite woman who came to Jesus and cried out, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. And the response she got could not discourage her. She remained true to the end. The woman from Canaan was outstanding because of the qualities and traits we see as she approaches Jesus. The Canaanite woman was humble, persistent, emotionally intelligent, and trusting. The first lesson we learn from the faith of the Canaanite woman has to do with her pride and worship. The faith of the Canaanite woman was aroused by her need. She desperately needed her daughter to be healed. Her desperate need caused her to put away her pride. Here is one of the first characteristics of the Canaanite woman that we can observe and learn from. She was humble. Like in the story of Naaman, she did not have the luxury of sitting on her high horse while death and destruction were knocking at the door. As she approached Jesus, she worshipped him. Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. Unlike the rich young ruler who didn't seem to need anything, this woman was in such a desperate situation that her last hope was in Jesus. She knew this, and so she came boldly to Jesus. When her request went unacknowledged, she took her worship to another level. She knelt before Jesus and asked again. Humility completely replaced pride. How is your pride? Are you desperate enough to approach God, putting everything aside so you can truly worship, so you can truly get what you need? The disciples were annoyed with her persistence. The next lesson from the Canaanite woman's story is that people sometimes are untouched by the burden of others. But God is never oblivious to our situation. The Canaanite woman just wouldn't stop following Jesus around. She wouldn't stop asking for her daughter to be released from her demonic bondage. The disciples asked Jesus to send her away. Maybe they too felt that she was not entitled to the miracle since she was not a Jew. And Jesus did say his ministry was not to the Gentiles, but to the lost sheep of Israel. The faith of the Canaanite woman was fueled by the burden she felt as a mother. The disciples couldn't relate. There was no record of any of them having children. Think of how they dismiss the children who came to sit on Jesus' lap. Her intercession was for her daughter. The love poured out of her heart, but the disciples could not appreciate this. So too, in life, people do not always understand the burden you might be feeling over a particular situation. This is another one of the characteristics of the Canaanite woman, which allows her to stand out. 
Her love drove her to intercede on behalf of someone else. And it's perfectly fine if they do not. God does. And his ears are always open to petitions and intercessions. Like the woman with the issue of blood, the faith of the Canaanite woman was imperfect. This next lesson from the Canaanite woman is about the movement in her faith journey in just a few minutes. When she approached Jesus, she addressed him as son of David. This was a political title. She probably saw Jesus as a kind of a magician, but not as the miracle-working God. This Canaanite woman was said to be Greek. She did not hold the same religious beliefs of the Jews for sure. Yet, in all scripture, this woman is one of only two people who were complimented by Jesus for this level of faith. And both people were Gentiles. The other one was a centurion soldier. People like her did not have the luxury of growing up learning about God. In fact, they were not even allowed in the synagogue where the Torah was read each Sabbath. Yet their faith exceeded that of the Jews who looked down on the Gentiles. It is interesting that although the Jews knew the prophecy about Jesus coming, so many of them did not recognize Jesus and his power. What the Jews took for granted, this Canaanite woman did not. But by the time she finished interacting with Jesus, the faith of the Canaanite woman had grown. Initially, she called him son of David. By the end of their conversation, she calls him Lord. Jesus' talk with her helps her to see him as more than just a magician. She saw him as God. She was not at the same place in her faith by the end of the encounter. Is your faith growing as you walk the path of interacting with God? God will sometimes test your courage and faith. If you learn nothing else from our story, learn this lesson from the Canaanite woman. Never ever stop praying. God pays attention to prayers that don't stop coming. When the faith of the Canaanite woman is compared to the faith of the woman with the issue of blood, there are similarities and differences. Both women were persistent in faith. Both women's faith was imperfect, but the faith of the Canaanite woman was less superstitious. The woman with the issue of blood thought her faith was activated by touching Jesus' clothes. She was Jewish. There were beliefs that supported her faith, but the Canaanite woman believed Jesus could heal her daughter without any physical contact. Maybe she had heard stories before. This woman, having not been raised Jewish, believed Jesus' words alone. She believed in his power to say the word and the miracle would be done. So she did not stop asking. When the disciples tried to get Jesus to send her away, she did not stop asking. When it seemed like Jesus was trying to insult her, she moved in even closer and knelt before him. And Jesus honored her persistent prayer of faith. Is there something you are tired of praying about? I cannot promise that your breakthrough is near. But I can promise that if you keep praying, God will answer when the time is right. Because he tells us in his word, when the time is right, I, your God, will make it happen. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Yeah.
Thank you.